suppose, in uh, maybe Gary. Cupcakes for me.
Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to this wonderful, wonderful day here at Club Marucci for our $20,000 Classic on the final day, Game 4. Game 4, Rink 7, we have Dean Sleuth, Marianne Kunzel, Wayne Masters and Alan Newman. They're sitting on top of the table. They're playing Steve Cornish, Joe Dor, Chris Johnson, a.k.a. CJ and Adam Maverick Hall. Obviously, you can see the difference. You can see the difference. Uh, Alan's got the arm and Maverick's got the uh, stomach. Anyway. Looks like Wayne Masters rolling down there. He's coming in. A little bit short. Looks like Mary Ann's got the shot. She's got the... Uh, White bowls with the black dots, a.k.a. the cow, we call them. The bowls, I mean. Um, as we come in, here's CJ coming in. He's a little bit quick. Could be even in the... the uh, he's on the beach straight up, straight on the cotton tree he is. That's the way they're bowling. Bowling to the north. Here's Wayne's second bowl. What a gorgeous day. Gorgeous day. Oh, that's a that's a lovely correction from uh, Wayne Masters. See what CJ does with his second one. CJ normally leads, but uh, they've had a couple of people pull out. Oh, he just got the edge of that and rolled it over to the maroon. I don't know who that is. Maybe that's uh, Dean Sleuth. I'll just go and check. Gorgeous day. Just go outside and feel the atmosphere here. Maybe that's Maverick's side that's I got the shot, I'm not too sure. Hey, Eddie Whiteside on uh, rink six, you'll be hearing him all morning. Here comes Alan playing his back end. No, sorry, it's forehand. Sorry, my mistake. It's how stupid I am. Adam Hall all the way from Nelson's Bay playing this. Yep, if he keeps bowling like that, the boys will be sending him back to Nelson's Bay. Here comes Alan again. It's a nice bowl. Beautiful weight. Two down, I've just been told by Chris Johnson. He's called Adam onto his forehand. Adam's normally a backhanded player. We'll see what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. Two away. Alan Newman, two. Adam Hall, zero. Two, zero. The atmosphere you can cut with a knife here today. Gorgeous day. Beautiful morning. Lovely people here at Club Marucci Classic, the $20,000. 
watching uh, the team on the top play, the team on the bottom. I won't say who's who, but uh, obviously our people can tell. Next rink is who's who in the zoo. Tyler Pettigrew and Dean McShimming Shillington. So uh, great people on rink six. Dean Sleuth. Oh, it was my mistake again. Jeez, I'm having a good morning. Adam must have got two. They call Dean Sleuth Mr. Cool because he never cracks under pressure, old Sleuthy. Steve Cornish. Andy. Yes, mate. Well, it looks like I can join you. Thank you. Welcome back, Wayne. Uh, yep, Wayne Daddy here. Um, <clears throat> everything's going well. So electronically wise, so very happy with that. I'm glad you joined the, the stream to get uh, the commentary underway. And there's two crackers from Dino. Yes. Dean. Mr. Cool Sleuth, as yeah. they call him here at uh, Club Marucci. Mm, okay. I just know him as Dino. Yeah, I just made that up just then, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Steve's got two back woods ready to pick up the jack. Pick up the score if the jack moves. Look, uh, I think mm. Adam Hall must have got two shots down there, Wayne because uh, Steve Cornish was first on the mat and uh, Mary Ann's fourth, so I'd take it. Adam got two shots down the other end. Correct? Did you get two? Yeah. Are you going to mention the um, position they are on the uh, scoreboard? Well, I did say that. I said we've one, one team is on the top and the other team's on the bottom, but I don't want to tell the, the, the listeners okay. who's who. Uh, Alan's on top and Adam's on the bottom. But anyway, we'll move forward from that. It's only a number. Adam told me this morning, it's only a number. Be a lot of teams hoping that uh, one gets over the other. Well, as Adam Hall said to me, mate, I'm not last, I'm 42nd. So <laughs> I said, fair enough. As I said before, Wayne, uh, uh, Mary Ann's got the white and black dots. We call them the cow bowls uh, because they look like the uh, milking cow. Here they come now. You keep talking through and I'll have a cup of tea and a cupcake. Beautiful. Uh, this is Chris Johnson. Uh, Chris is, I believe, bowling up at Tawantanoosa uh, this pennant season. I don't know what club he was at before, but he's, he told me he's gone to Tawantanoosa. Uh, Wayne Masters is on the mat. Alan's called him on his backhand just to go around uh, CJ's front bowl. And he'll pop it, drop it straight on the jack here. See how good they are. And I just put the boogie on him. You know, Wayne, when I look across the green from my position outside in the beautiful sun, it looks like a landmine from here over to the other side of the rink or the green. That's a great bowl, CJ. That's an unreal bowl. Lovely bowls, Chris Johnson. Uh, CJ, they call him from Taunton Noosa. That's where uh, Chris is playing.
Chris is looking for a sponsor for like a shaving sponsor so he can shave his chin. Um, looks like looks like Father Christmas. Dean, Dr. Curl Smooth, Sluice, they call him. Never cracks under pressure. Cherry Door, sponsored by Forex, Forex Gale. Got a game plan, yes, yes. Just go around here, so I'm not too loud. Go and talk to Whiteside, Eddie, EJ. Come this way, EJ. This is our club manager, uh, Eddie, EJ, uh, Whiteside, over here, Ed, so we can hear you. Hopefully they can pick me up. You still got me, Wayne? Yeah, all good. Oh, well. Uh, EJ, uh, what do you think of the weekend? Been an absolute uh, dream come true. The hard work that you've put in painting to set it all up uh, it was something we thought about nine months ago. It's come to fruition. The weather's great. The greens are great. The uh, cold beverage is sensational, and there's some good bowls being played. So uh, it's only going to get better every year. Thank you, Eddie. And also, if you're sitting at home listening to this, we've got four wonderful meat trays to give away this afternoon to raffle off, as well as a bar fridge... A bowls bag, a set of bowls, uh, a little few refreshments, all to go to a good cause today, and that's the bowlers or anybody that comes and buys tickets. Here's Alan coming in. He's not going to be short, I tell you. Oh, that's the first one he's missed. <laughs> I've never seen Alan miss a drive. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's uh, one to uh, Adam Hall. He takes the lead of three nil after two ends. Uh, a word from the sponsors, Forex, Jawa, Journey Australia with Attitude, that's what we call them, Journey Australia with Attitude. They've got a wonderful caravan here today, a wonderful caravan. I was talking to John and Kaz, who are the owners, and uh, they don't want to take it home. They'd like somebody to come and have a look today and buy it. I think it's about 75k, so if you've got a spare 75k, drop on in. See Kaz and John here at uh, Club Marucci and uh, they'll love to give it to you. And also Reuben Park, Ray White, real estate at Cotton Tree. Mate, he can sell ice to Eskimos. Steve Cornish playing his back end. Steve's got a beautiful, beautiful action. That's a great start. Great start from Steve Cornish. I call him Lurch, he's that high up. <laughs> Dean, uh, Mr. Cool Sleuth, he never cracks under pressure, as I said before. Uh, and uh, great weight, just a bit too much grass. Oh, this is this is beautiful bowling from uh, Steve Lurch Cornish. Have a go at that. That's an absolute. You know, what a great bowler. He gets a toucher for that. Yes, he got a toucher. Yeah, on the screen, I mean, a little graphic. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't go shot of the day. Yes. No, Steve no, always no. gets a toucher. Won't peak too early. Okay, Kurt Ferris is watching us on Facebook. And he just, oh, I'd like a preliminary, uh, he would like to know who's coming up today on the live stream. So we've got in the next game, Andrew Pierce, And he is playing Trevor Nielsen. And then for the last game this afternoon is Evan O'Rourke and... Cody Garrick. And at the moment, those four teams I read out are basically in the middle of the field, so anything could happen. 
Mary Ann's on the mat. Now, I'll tell you a little bit of history of Mary Ann. She's going over to Jersey. They're playing the World, uh, World Championships over there. Uh, she's representing her native country, Switzerland. Uh, it's just, she is just an amazing bowler. Um, so natural in her uh, delivery. Here's Joe Dorr. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it's just Joe's a little bit short in height and on the green today. So. Uh, That's a beautiful action. Here she comes. Derek Houghton is um, hoping that the Pialba boys have a good day today. So are the Pialba boys, they're hoping too. Whereabouts are they? Do you I've know? got no idea. Okay. Uh, maybe down the back. They're not clever enough to get a camera out to the back link. Well, give you time, mate. We'll get the drone up somewhere in the, in the future. You can have the zzzz upstairs. Okay. You got, you got that quote for the drone, didn't you? I did. Uh, we had it yesterday, mate. It was absolutely outstanding. It was a little bit noisy. That's the only issue. Um, it's a little bit warm in the sun. Well, it's warm in here too because we don't have air conditioning. Uh, but we've... Uh, <laughs> I've brought in one of your... One of your biggest fans. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. How's your cup of tea? Good. Had Beautiful. It, had it? Yeah. Oh, you had the cupcake. Yeah, lovely ladies made cupcakes. And she said I could have one. Well, yeah. did she? I'm just about to go and get a drink. I'll just turn this off. Okay. Looks like, boys, looks like it's just me and my toys and my robots, I call them. Traffic there. Maverick on the mat. comes out with a little bit more weight. Was well, he going to find a hole again? How can you do that twice in a row? I think he needs another coffee. Has he had a beer yet? I don't think he drinks in round one, mate. I think he uh, hangs on and, and away he goes. Here's Hawley coming in. Around that one. Inside the moo cow. Oh, might have, might have done oh, I don't think so, no. I can't see from here. Uh, no. I'll tell you, Alan's not going to be short. He's, he's missed the... So that's three. I don't know how many they got then. I 
think it might be four, four, four to Adam Hall and uh, zero to Allen. It's a brilliant start. A bit update for the Adams. Well, that started off with a typo. And we've got wonderful club members here. They've been down helping all weekend there, Wayne, and uh, it's really appreciated on for everybody here at Club Marucci. Club Marucci, the People's Club. Well, this will be a r upset if Adam can keep the upper hand. That's a great start from Steve Lurch, Cornish. Well, I'm extremely well. With his SRVs. That's right. Dino, what have you got? Inside that one. Start to stop. There you go. Yeah, that's a shot, mate. Well, we better show the, show the, um, the viewers. The viewers, the right screen. Instead of watching it live, oh, don't do that. Okay. Here comes Steve now, mate. It's, uh, All he's got to do is sit on Dino's. He's almost going to do it. Doesn't need to. That's a great ball. That's a good lead ball. He's, uh, Started the day off extremely well, though, Steve. I just got given a golden pancake. Oh, yes. Dot Castle, one of the best bakers here at Club Marucci. It's standing. Thank you, Dot. Oh, you got me from here? Yeah, you're OK. Ah, oh, beautiful. You're still in the sun. Well, I've got a few. Three. <laughs> Three sons and a daughter, a couple of grandkids. Anyway, that's not all about me. Well, it is, but I won't do it today. <laughs> it's your show. Here comes Lucy, mate. This is an amazing bell. Look at this. Oh, no, that's, that's not him. That's it's Joe Dool. It's, it's going to fall. So Jay Daw is Joe Daw's son, and I think you can see where Jay gets his talent from. His dad might have overstepped the mark there, but anyway, here's Mary Ann coming in a little bit narrow, but good weight. She was going to pick that jack up and take it back to her. Okay, Joe, how good your memory? Yeah, not that good. He just wants to go. Look, he's, he said, I can only bowl with one bowl, mate, and I'll put the other on the bank. So, uh, Here's Mary Ann. Just, just a bit heavy. Big call from Adam, just draw into those, get a touch of the jack. Wonderful bowlers here this weekend. Scotty Dujon, all the way from up from, from the Gold Coast. Um, Rowan. Rowan Wilson's uh, up from uh, Helensvale. There's a few up here. A couple of boys from Pine Rivers. Greenies come all the way over from uh, Palm Woods. Big drive for Greenie today. Still after Ants. Uh,
Maybe Peter wants to sit here and I'll get off his chair. These two fellas would have played together opposite each other hundreds of times, wouldn't they? Yes, correct. So they know each other's game. True. Chris wasn't that good. <laughs> Can't wait to get to the bank and stand under some shade. Yes, it should be warm here today, around about 30 degrees. Yeah. Is that right? Will I be correct? Well, I can't check with Joanna Natal anymore because she's not the weather girl. No, she's now the mayoress of the Sunshine Coast. But you can see by your flags up the other end there on the road, they're not moving. Well, that's correct because the breeze is coming uh, up uh, Memorial Avenue, heading towards the ocean. Are those national titles on again today? Correct. They're on for the week. Oh, the whole week. On the week. So it's great for the coast. Bowl coming. Wake up. Uh, Wayne Masters doesn't need to sit right in that spot. I'll, I'll move Wayne if uh, <laughs> Wayne's right in front of the camera. Good job. Well, that's what I do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate Wayne moving. I mean, it's a very... All they want to do is win a bowls game. That's correct. Win a bowls tournament. Oh, yes, yeah, that'll work too. Yes. Here's Adam. He's holding one. He's not going to come in from out there, is he? No, he's going to be at Alex... Heads at Beach, the way that's going. That's going to stop at Malula Bar. Now, in your conditions of play, uh, for the new viewers, if they kill the end, it gets respotted. So, no, in this case, not much would change. So, Alan's got some weight here. There's, he's got a little bit of Chris, but he has rolled out the shot bowl. Marianne's now got it. Well, that's why she's the international bowler. She puts her bowls uh, near the jack, so Alan's on the board. Alan's on the board. 4-1 after four ends. I think before she bowled, she was a, uh, a skier from Switzerland uh, and took, took two bowls like a duck takes to water. Here we got uh, Eddie Whiteside and we got great Peter Leon. And I think Peter's got his son bowling today. Is that right, Peter? Well, Peter reckons he, he's not as good as his dad, but uh, he'll give it a go. Well, you never know. We might, that could happen. You just never know in the... In the Sunshine Coast, Peter. Oh, yes. Lurch, he loves them short. Stephen Lurch Cornish. Oh, that's a beautiful bowl. Beautiful bowl from Sleuthy. Well, if you're right there for a minute, I'm just going to get a top up. Yeah, mate, that's no drama. Uh, Steve's just gone through by a couple of metres. Have a step there. Mary Ann on her forehand because she's a left-hand bowler. So uh, 
That's a forehand and then she comes. Look at this. This is a beautiful bowl. Oh, she's just going through. It's running beautiful, the green. Her boya, she's just gone inside. Wonderful lady. All the way from, I think, Roma. Uh, I think I think Joey went to the gym this morning. He's put too much on that. Let's see if she's learned from a first. She just comes in. This is, looks a beautiful bowl. This is an outstanding bowl. Oh, that's the bowl. That's the shot of the day. The shot of the day. Straight there. I'll give a shot of the day. Calling it early. Oh, well, it was a great shot. Learned from her first. I think she used to ski the Alps in Switzerland. So, uh, as I said, she took it like a duck to water with the bowls. Yeah. Joe's just cut his grass, but he had the right weight. Come on, Wayno. Here comes Wayne. It looks a bit travelling. Must want the tea. Yeah. And even got that. I think he's gone to the beach at Cotton Tree. It's a bit warm. He wants to go to the water early. Chris Johnson, CJ, wants his wife to know that he's uh, drinking lots of water from the special, uh, oh, what do we want to call it, the, um, the cup of life. And then I told him, oh, I print bottles like that, but I don't do one, I do 50. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, he's a machine, mate. He's a machine. He's uh, the only thing negative about him. He goes for the Adelaide Crows. So. He's getting some instructions here. Change hands. He was going to come the other hand, I think. Well, he's uh, he's normally pretty good at the uh, at his back end. I've mostly seen him play as a lead. That's right, but they've had a few pullouts. Uh, unfortunately, Blaine Shorter and Jason Thomas um, pulled out uh, uh, other commitments, and uh, Adam pulled in a few blokes: Steve Cornish and and Joe Dore. Wayne, I can't see, mate. How many are they down? Are they down a few? No. Um. I think that came out a bit narrow. Wasn't what he was after. Al just a draw for three and probably a four way measure for fourth shot. We don't want to move that jack, which, we, which he did. Might only have the one. Who's got the light blue? Joe. This is better. 
This has got them all interested. Oh no. Giving him two. He got two for that. Increases his lead. Morning, Ian. Thanks for the um, thumbs up. Appreciate that. Peter Bain. Paulie is a live stream beast. Well, that's probably true. He's got makeup on and everything, I think. And Bruce. Yep, he did do well. You could call that a draw. Um, but he was a bit overweight and he picked up the bowl and the jack to make two. Kicked it out to the side. Good result. As they say, the good looking McWinnie just walked past. Good to have Premier League player up here with us. Oh, that's a great bowl. Dino, all over it. So coming down on his forehand. No. Good weight, look at that. You allowed one bad end, Marianne. I'd say they've been playing awesome for their first three games. One of the Palmwoods fellas just walking past in one of the shirts I designed up for them. When a mate of theirs passed away, they ordered 50 shirts for the design up. Matches. Their mate matches. I'm past the camera now. 
Got it in spades. What was he saying? That's the sort of stuff you can get from bowls. Promogear.com.au. One up on the top left. Collection of things I've done for bowls clubs over the last 25 years. Give it a whack. Chris is standing up there going, yeah, okay, here I go. He's on track. He's on track. Straight through. Pretty good, Danny, miss by an inch from that distance. Almost full length. I think Dino's still got the shot. So Alan will just be drawing for a second.
Sorry about that. Got the camera back now. Just busy doing something else, but they haven't updated the scoreboard, and I not really wasn't really paying attention. But I imagine Alan won the end. Too much weight for a draw. Got the tee. Forward thinking. Joe's not happy with that one. Chris Poorhand. I'm going to go around Joe's and sit on Mary Ann's back bowl. Uh, it is too narrow for that. Already scolded himself. Right on. It held. Might be in the count. Poorly. All you've got to do is draw around the outside there. <coughs> you've got a foot to draw. And Chris is already calling it. Oh, 
see the opportunities you've got to take. Hawley is up there pretty angry with himself. And then someone like Alan Newman will just get on the mat with his stick and just draw one in perfectly. No, he's given him a chance. You've got to take it. Keep that lead, Alan. Looks like a little bit more. That looks like a little bit more. Turn in on Mary Ann's now. That's great effort. Two to Alan. Two. Well, that was the end where Hawley could have easily increased his lead, making it harder. But now, Dino's got the mat. He'll set the length and he'll put two on it. I've seen him do it so many times. Okay, Dino, the sleuths, see if you can correct, or pick up that jack and take it back to your own. Uh, that's just cruel. Steve drew brilliant shot, and Dino just comes in and rolls him out. He's a handy man to have on your side. And most of the time he plays lead. Good wait. Good wait, Steve. Comes Mary Ann with the Moo Cows. Good wait. Just got to figure out the grass. You can see the flags just waving a little bit more. But not really affected down this end because of that big building. Joe, happy with this one, I think. Just rest on that one. Oh, he fell out. Good bowler out of luck there. Marianne's going to change hands. Just as she was about to figure out that other hand. Change hands at a meter. All the way, all the way. Close. And she added the meter. Joe Dool. When we used to do all those singles comps that seemed to be everywhere a dozen years ago, Salisbury, Bribey. I ran into Joe back then when his son was just taking it up and having an interest in it. And he was a good bowler then. Wayne Masters. 
think he had a run in the Premier League. Chris. Just getting the wrong side of that. Certainly building a good head there. No one's getting into a rhythm here. Everyone's got to change hands with each bowl. He flipped it a little bit. See if that hurt him. No. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Not a big trail, just a little trail. <laughs> Mary Ann's waiting. <laughs> Chris has cooked it. Needs a wick. Got it. Not square enough. Up to the skips now. All he's going to wait. He's going to wait and have a chat with his team. And they'll all say, geez, mate, should have drawn that last end. Helen Newman on the mat. With his aerodynamics. Kinda just took that hand out of play. Maverick will have to go on his forehand unless he's playing big weight. This one to get back in the lead. This one to get back in the lead. He just added the extra 18 inches he needed. Perfect. quiet. No one said anything because all he's got to do is play the same as he just did. It's a little bit tighter but if he hits something good two new leader. Morning, Graham. Graham Kimball, beautiful day for bowls. Yes. You're only up the road. If you pop in, I'll put you on the microphone. Because Hawley's a no show again. Yvonne, don't know which team Gail's in, but I'll ask. Hello. 
Hawley has entered the building, but he's not talking. Hawley? Sorry. <laughs> Painey. Um, we just had a question there. Gail Sutton, which team is she in? She's in, she's brought on rank one. So if you look over here, you'll see what team she's yep. in. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's on rank one. She's not, so maybe. No, she's up here. I think she's with Robert Hammond. Robert Hammond on if rank from, one. If he's from uh, Roma, he's either. Robert Hammond or Greg Lee. I'm not too sure. You know how I'll find out for you? Okay. No rush. Done. Got all day. Actually, uh... Here comes Mary Ann. Now, because I seem to have lost the ability to move the cameras around like I was yesterday, even though I have the phrase pan and tilt on the screen, um, I'm just going to go and do it manually. Back in a minute. Well, been around the grounds, picking up a few glasses and uh, having a chat to a few bowlers and uh, come back and Alan Newman's in the lead by eight to six after seven, so. I was just saying before that Hawley had perfect opportunity. He had 18 inches both times to draw. Alan gave him a chance and he just didn't take it. If he'd done that, he, Alan would have stayed on two and he would have been eight. Yes. But now it's all changed. Tino got the mat. Here they come, yeah. Chris Johnson. I bet he's taking it back to Marianne. Oh. No, he might have. Oh, I don't know. Marianne. Can't really get another look at that. Oh, that's not bad, mate. Uh, if you can zoom in there, we can have a captain if... Uh, I don't have a zoom function. The whole system is broken down. Wow. I've sent a message to tech support, trying to get some help. How'd they go? Yeah, trying to help. I'll just go up and have a Captain Cook, mate. Uh, here's one of our sponsors. She's been over for a dog's eye for her husband, John. Feed him. I'll just go down here and have a bow peep. 
Jeez, it's close, mate. That's about it. Mate, uh, I'd, start, I'd have to go to the International Bowl of Mary Ann's Bowl. Okay. I think Alan's holding one. Well, it, nothing's changed. So, what do you reckon? Straight through the guts there? Paul? Yeah, well, if Hawley. Straight through the guts. Pick not up. too sure what he's like with a drive, mate. Uh, okay. We're about to see about on live TV. Now. No, she's at all. Giving it a chance. Hit that onto that. He did. Oh, oh got it. I tell you what. Oh, shot. Are you at shot of the day? It's not bad for a manly supporter, just quietly. Uh, rugby league. I'll give him a double shot. Boom, boom. Yep. Well, you could win a game if you're going to play that well. That's right. Maverick? That's right, Mav. Mav's happy with himself. He's striding out down the green. Look at him. Yeah, he's still got a bowl. He wants to see what I can do to get a number. Well, don't be surprised if Alan draws a shot here. That. Oh, he's got second anyway. Takes his... What's he going to do to get a multiple? Johnny. Nice ball from Ellen. Nice ball, Ellen. Okay, they've talked about this. I think they were talking about what they're having for lunch just quietly. <laughs> Here he comes now. So that's his only way in. Maverick the chip eater, they call him. He might be a bit hot, but if he gets the jack... Uh, oh, oh no. Up. I think he's gone from one up to two up. And there might be three. I can't see from here. I'm going to talk to Adam uh, Hall. Uh, Adam, tell us about yourself, mate. Where are you from and who do you play for? Oh, g'day, mate. Uh, well, I played Pennant here last week, King. You know that. I got the Club Marucci shirt on. And um, what are they doing up there? Oh, they're looking for the umpire. All oh, right, OK. All umpire! Right. What do you want? Long measure. Uh, that's a great uh, couple of great bowls there from you. Uh, <laughs> If you watch the weekend, it's probably the first two, King, so uh, it's timely, mate. Well, Maverick, uh, the, your team was telling me that. Uh, you had to make a few up because you had uh, Blaine Shorter and Jason Thomas pull out the last minute. Yeah, uh, they had a uh, club championships uh, which could have uh, sort of crossed paths with the dates here, so they gave us a few weeks' notice, and, yeah, we sort of mixed our team up, and... Uh, if you see me, Skipper, mate, something's not quite right. Yes, you are. You're probably the best lead I've ever seen you play. You're normally not a skipper or a second or a third, but uh, you're the best lead I've seen for a long way, apart from uh, your lead today. Uh, Steve Cornish, Dean Sleuth. I mean, there's plenty around. Jay Daw. You know, I rate you in the top 40. Yeah, that's fantastic, King. I'll leave you with it, mate. Thank Thanks, Mav. And talking about that, I'll just uh, have a talk to the team that's... Sitting on top of the table after three rounds. Alan Newman. Alan, uh, bowling pretty well this weekend? Yes. Yeah, the whole team's playing pretty well, yeah. Played, some good, played against some good teams and we've had a wonderful uh, day yesterday. We'll see if we can do it again today. Mate, uh, I love you with a stick. Uh, how long have you been using the stick for? Three years now. Mate, uh, and that's because you your bad back? Mm, yes, yeah, bad back, yeah. Righto. Are greens running well? Yeah, they're good. Nice and true. And that's all from Alan Newman. Uh, he's uh, looking down there. He's hoping that it's only two. I don't know how many that was. Well, that that uh, next time don't go in for a beer. Thanks, Alan, for your time. Adam, did you get a dog's eye? Five? Yes. I don't know how he got that, neither does he, just quietly. But anyway, Slusy, five down. Yeah, no, I'll just let you know as you go out. Thanks for that.
Yeah. That's all right, Slushy. I, I pump your tyres up, mate. That's what I do. So that gets him a shot of the day, doesn't it? Wow. Five. The old meat pie, number five. Adam Maverick Hall. So that takes him to 11. Look, uh, I'll just come inside. Uh, we've got our ladies president. Joy, uh, what do you think of the weekend? I think it's been absolutely brilliant. I love the vibe here. It's been magnificent. Unreal. And uh, the head of the head of the umpires this weekend, uh, Lynn Paris. Lynn, uh, how's your uh, umpires going? They're all working really well. I don't know whether they've actually had any work, but they're all sitting out there looking. Yeah, well, I just had to wake up uh, Gary Barton. He was having a kip. Uh, and, mate, uh, just a quick one. Uh, you getting your vouchers for your umpires? <laughs> yes, today and yesterday. Thank you very much. Oh, there you go. Amazing things here at Marici. And that's uh, due to our great chairman, Frank Linder, for making sure that the vouchers are on time for our umpires, which is unreal. Uh, 15 yesterday, 15 today, that's 30. Thanks very much, Frank, if you're listening around the grounds. Well, we're, we're, um, we're halfway through this first game. Probably a good time to talk about your major sponsors. Well, thanks, Wayne. Our major sponsors uh, this weekend have been outstanding. We've had... Uh, Reuben Park from uh, Ray White Cotton Tree, Marucci Door. So if you're selling around the grounds here on the Sunshine Coast, Reuben Park. He can sell ice to Eskimos and throw in an esky. That's how good he is. Uh, we got Jaywa, off-road campers, unreal off-road campers. Look, uh, brilliant sponsors, lovely John and Kaz. Jawa means uh, Journey Australia with Attitude. And if you look at John, he has got attitude. And uh, our wonderful, wonderful sponsor, another one, Lion Nathan, a.k.a. Forex. For all your refreshments, Forex is to go. But anyway, uh, look, they've been great to us, and without these sponsors, we would not be able to put on a tournament like we're putting on. $10,000 for the winner, 5000 for a runner-up, uh, 2500 for third, 1600 for fourth, uh, 500 for fifth, 400 for sixth place, and today because oh, Marianne. today because of how good they're going, we're going to pay the highest winner on Sunday. So how are you going to determine the winner? Oh, I got no idea, but I'll have a look <laughs> at the system later. Um, You're just making it up as you go along. Correct. That's what I do. Uh, is that uh, is that Slucy on the? On the jack or Mary Ann? No, that looks like Dean Sleuth. Yeah, that's it? Dean Sleuth. Mary Ann's got a toucher in the ditch. And she's got one to come. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, that's Champagne uh, Bowls. That's Champagne Bowls. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there. Right there. Champagne Bowls. Amazing. What a wonderful, Joseph Dorr. wonderful lawn bowl. He's the uh, Forex Gold... Uh, Sponsored today, those sponsoring uh, Joe Dawes' stomach, it's for his gold. Gold, gold, gold. For oh. Joe Daw. I think that was, uh, who used to say that? No, that was a bloke on uh, the ABC. Gold, <laughs> gold, gold. <sighs> Gail looks a lot healthier today than she did yesterday. She must have been something she ate on Friday night. Uh, she was a little bit dusty. Yeah, it's just going to go straight into the beach. Chris, take off some weight, mate. But I think he was after that. I think he wanted to um, get in there, into the head and mess it up a bit. Well, they're holding a shot, aren't they? Mm. That's his shot there. Well, he shouldn't be coming in with that much weight. Someone go scold him. Here comes Wayne Masters. This mm. looks he's a got, little bit... He's uh, got the a little bit... Uh, he's got him more... The, Oh. Give it a friend, there's a call from Maverick. <laughs> Give it a friend. Maverick doesn't have many, so he wants his bowls to have some. Now, this uh, is the hand that he plays, Wayne. He, he yeah, loves his backhand. I think a friend's coming. 
leads to the hole. I don't know. No, he's but a... Cr see, try, that's what, try to be positive, but that's a shocker, Chris. Well, that's what happens when you support the Crows in <laughs> AFL, so... Uh, well, they just got a five. Come on. Wayne Masters won't muck around. No, he'll be there this time. Look, here it comes. He's got weight. Oh, he's narrow. He's going to... Another one on the back. Three. That, there's two there already. And one in the ditch. Touch her in the ditch. Maybe they're playing a different game, Wayne, than we know, is to see <laughs> how many you can get on the bank. mary has got the sponsor's cap on. Walking into view there now. Jawa. What do you reckon? Journey Australia with attitude. That's it. Journey Australia with attitude. I reckon our great Pete Barley could get a caravan and Journey Australia with attitude. Peter could get two. Peter, uh, how do you think this is Pete Bartley? He's a member of the board so at Club Marucci. Peter, how do you think the weekend's going? Absolutely magnificent. It's a credit to the club and a credit to the organisers. That's beautiful, Peter. And, mate, the surrounds are looking amazing. The greens are looking beautiful. Um, tell us a bit about yourself, Pete. Where are you from? I'm from right here on the Sunshine Coast. There you go, Pete's from the Sunshine Coast. So, uh... He just tried to knock Joe Dawes' bowl in. Who's that, Adam? It's a little bit closer, but I don't think it counts. Here's Alan. He's not going to be short. He's got it. No, he's got something. Oh. Still down. I'm telling you, mate, there's a different game this end. They're all seen how many they can get on the bank. What do you got there? Four, five, six. Maverick. Here we come. Here he comes. No, Maverick. Oh. Perfect line. Great line. Now he's best. So if Alan puts it in the ditch, baby Maverick can uh, get the shot because Alan's not going to be short again. Just got to miss the front one. Looks like he has. One. Just the one. What a beautiful day, Pavarucci. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's a bit like a summer's day here on the Sunshine Coast. It's around about uh, 30 degrees. The breeze is starting to pick up outside. You can see the flags from our sponsors, uh, Jawa and uh, Forex, uh, flapping in the breeze. Big call from Maverick. He's uh, quite happy with his side at the moment. So Adam normally uh, swings his arms around like the aeroplanes are landing. Uh, he's got a lot of patience. Steve Lurch Cornish. There's the leg. He's got the leg twitching. Look at that. There's the leg. Great bowling. Nice bowling, Steve Lurch. Cornish. Dean, Dr. Cool, Sleuth. Sleuths, I should say. On ring six, we've got Tyler Pettigrew. Now, Tyler's an absolutely outstanding young bowler, old Tyler. He's not here. Oh, he's just giving me... Uh, he's giving me... Oh, these, uh, I'm deaf too. He's giving me hand signals. Nice bowling. I just had Dean's action up on the screen for those who want to see what a good lawn bowler bowls like. And he's coming in just with perfect bowl. Second shot.
Jai Dor on the mat. He bounced it a little. Don't think it'll hurt him. Good effort. Just the mat length away. Alan's interested with this one. So Steve's holding one. Dean's got second. So Joe to give it a friend, but he's really throwing that out. And Maverick pretty much knows it's not coming back. Hello. <laughs> I was just thinking I was on Toy Story there for a minute. Sorry about that. That's all right. If you know all the words, get into it. No, I got nothing. Yep, Marianne just cut her grass too much trying to trying to correct that last bowl. I'll come back. Um, here, here you go. You want another one? Oh. White, white with one, please. Yes. Close. Oh, Chris is saying I don't want to mess it up, but I think you could have made two out of it. So he's done all right. Andy's got catcher there. Let's see if Wayne can do backhand. And just come in there right where his foot is. Close. Good go. Not often you see the third called up to the head on a time game. But they're getting the ends in pretty easily with about 10 minutes to spare, especially on this green. Aware of the time, getting the adrenaline going, pumping the legs on the way back. As Dennis Nevin would say, show a little enthusiasm and that's what he's doing. to come in just a, no. can't blame the wind just a slight breeze I think he was just heavy because the, the line was all right might have pumped the adrenaline a bit too much why no through the hole holes for bowls Bit of discussion going on. How do we get more, more numbers, and how do we stop Alan from drawing a shot?
Oh, you're a good man. I don't care what they say about you. Oh, I hope so. Did you stick? Well, thank I'll you. I'll be back. Just distracted by getting a cup of tea there. Happy with the two. I'd say he's just going to... He called him in for cover. Oh, just draw one. Calling it in. But a bit, a bit more breeze on that one. That's big weight. And he's got something. Oh, oh he knocked that possible third one out. Two. They're agreeing on two. Steve Cornish with the mat. And the shortish end. Got it away. Yep. Good start here. Skip's happy. That's the way to back up getting a couple of shots. Well done. Trying to update the scoreboard. Mm. Scoreboard says 14 8. I say 14 8. And 11 ends. Okay, we're up to date. Well, let's settle down for a while. We'll have a look and see what the live stream's saying. Can I please have the score? On the rink next door, Olivia Graham. You've obviously spotted somebody. On the rink next door. Well, all I can tell you is it's 17 7, and they're on 11 ends as well. And you can see that bowl coming down. I can probably even show you what happened there. So the Cleveland Seagulls won the mat. So whichever one change, whichever seven changes, seven or seventeen, we'll know um, who that is. Kurt Ferris. Well, I can tell you one of them is the Cleveland boys and Eddie Whiteside and Jay. And that's all I know. <laughs> Tim Phillips. 
I might need that translated. Norman May Moscow Olympics Mean Machine Relay. I don't know what you mean there. Someone will tell me. Willow is watching. Thanks, Willow. Well, nice pictures. Uh, Netsy. Yes, he does call me Netsy. Wayne Meta gets Netsy out of that. An endearing term, I'm sure. Let's see how good of a cup of tea Pony makes. Oh, what's this going to do? Get second shot. Marianne with shot. Wayne Masters on the map to draw a second. Makes it two. Chris Johnson, CJ, CJ. No, I think you need to drink some more water from your wife's flask, Chris. Wayne with his last. No, oh, that's a great lawn bowl. I've got the movement of one camera back. Brian Perrins entered the room. Well, lots of things are happening out there. Might be handy that you're here, Brian, if you want to grab a microphone because I've just got a little bit of camera trouble. So if I walk around and reset them, it looks like that's going to solve it. Switch that one on. Grab that one there. <coughs> and I'll bring you up to speed. But welcome to the microphone, Brian. Thank you for your help yesterday. Thank you, Wayne. So, just a well, Alan Newman's just trying to add to the two, three that he's got, and that just fell out of being a measure. And Hawley, who's a, a giant killer at the moment because he's second bottom on the on the um, overall so far, and Alan Newman's on top. So there'll be a few people. Well, it'll be another 41 team barracking for him to... Lucky you got that gap on that ball. <laughs> he could have done some damage. Well, he, he needed that. He's, and he's out of... He's out of bullets. So... Alan, Al's very happy with that. He turned his head away. Yeah, he's short. So he's just going to get the three, I think, if we um, watch them out of... Yep, free. free. So that puts Alan back in the game. Uh, Graham Kimball's watching. Hey, Grummy. Grummy, that's right. That's the nickname. Update again. We're on M12. Or he just got out of the way of the camera, so we'll switch that over. There's some interest on the rink next door. And when one of those sevens changes, we'll know which team is in front. 
because Cleveland got the point. But I guess when they update it, it'll be doing both ends, so it probably won't help us. Dean's got the tee covered. Okay, I'm just going to pop out and reset that camera. You kind of up to speed? Yeah, man, that's all good. Okay. Steve Cornish's first bowl. Looks like on a reasonably good track. How's his weight? It's good enough for a whole shot. Looks a tad high from Dean. Great weight. <laughs> Steve's second bowl. Looks on a good track again. All he likes it, and so he should. Mary Ann's first ball on her back end. Got the weights very close. Yep, definitely. Great shot, Marianne. Good. I'll, I'll give her a um, shot for that. I'll just show this to you. See that one there? Mm -hmm. It's a tick. Okay. I'm going to go and do that camera. You'll see it pop up. If yep. you just click on it, that'll save me a trip back. Second bowl, looks like she's just under the target a little bit. Great weight again. There you go, he's gone behind to the tee. Gone way past the tee, sitting on the ditch in case they do pot the jack. Master's first bowl here. We're going to turn under that ping bowl he hears. And got a toucher as well. Push it over to Mary Ann's second bowl. Sit Mary Ann's bowl here for shot. In the touch as well. Very bowl.
good track here again, Chris. Not two great bowls there. And another touch as well. Two great bowls played by Chris. Production assistant and the commentator all in one go. <laughs> oh, he looks looks like he's going to clean out. Some no, he's a bit tight unless he gets the edge of that Mary Ann's. Nothing. So, Hawley's just going to draw it in. Not a bad track here. Gets around them. A little clever. A little walk. And <clears> done <throat> it. Happy with that. I'm sure Al won't be dying trying again. <laughs> well, he's got to come through. Mm, better line um, this one. He's got to do a cannon. Oh, he's got it. Great Look ball. at that. And is it alive? Um, yes, yeah, in, still in bounds by about six inches. And Hawley's got one to come. Yep, I think they're holding one, that back bowl up against the pit there. So he's got to draw to the ditch. He's probably got, well, I suppose four or five foot to draw a second shot there, so he doesn't have to go too close to the ditch if he doesn't need to. It's a bit wide to me. No, he needed that. And he's in. And he's in. How many fingers have we got? I'm sure it was only one. Oh, Steve Garnish with the mat. That helps. Oh, that other rink you were talking about is going to 21-7. So Cleveland are ahead for that person who asked earlier on. So that means means Eddie might be on the losing side. Okay, three quarter length. Steve's cooked it. Yep. Good. Two got the tea. Over. Got, got the tea. Got the tea. Kill that. Get the, get the point. Yeah, they can draw to the jack and not have to worry about going to the tea after that. That's it. Not a waste of bowl. Paint his cup of tea is not helping. Yeah, well, he looks like he's nice and comfortable over next to the sponsor's caravan now. Oh, he's over at Jawa yeah. having yeah, a... Yeah, just having a sit down in the shade and... Having a jaw. Okay. Dean's first bowl was a very impressive start. Just <laughs> behind Jack High, just with... A foot wide. This one's a good reply. He should sit that bowl for shot. No, he's just fucked past it. Let's see if I can be really clever. Spy on. Can we spy on them? Um... No. Thought we. Oh. No, we've gone away. Dean sort of overcorrected his second bowl. Great weight, just on the other. Both sides of Jack covered now behind. I'll stop playing with that camera. I'm sorry. I apologise. 
I got word for him. He's just sitting there in a deck chair, feet up in the shade, pondering what he should do next. Good to be the king. Looks so like he's done a really good job of this tournament. Looks like it's been really well run. Seems to be plenty of praise for him. But I think you've got to break a few eggs to make a tournament like this happen. Oh, definitely. And he didn't realise the uh, National Star Surf titles were on the weekend, so traffic's been like a little bit of chaos around the area. Plus the markets. Yes, the markets as well. And an absolutely sensational day, so everyone on the sun, normal sunny coast, people trying to get out to the, the beaches. And as I was saying yesterday on Monday, they're forecasting rain for both Saturday and Sunday. But it's perfect. Speaking of perfect, young Joey, also the just through. Look at the line. He corrected the last one. Marianne's second bowl, first one finished about a foot short. Is he going to kiss that one? No. no. So Steve steps to the mat, three down. Plenty of room to draw a shot either way. Maverick's calling me over here, which you're running preferred, so definitely open. Steve thinks he's tight. Definitely is. And then heavy. Wayne to add to the tally. Backhand draw. Put the pressure on. Give Marianne a bump. Oh. Just matching that last back bowl. It seems that Al's team seem to be go covered all bases behind as well. So. Chris to correct. He's changing hands. I think he's corrected. Got to slow down. It looks a bit no, tight no. still. I think he can be long and tight on both hands yeah. by the looks of it. It's very clever. Well, Hall, he's going to have a little bit of pressure walking up there. He's looking to the sky. And where's my team going? Is he going to add? Yeah. Getting there, getting there. No, he's just a bit high, a bit light. Don't think he's inside Steve Cornish's blue SRV. Yeah, that's just getting a bit too close to your head. Have I got your headphones too loud? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Here comes Maverick's first bowl. He's playing the forehand draw. And he's under some pressure and he looks narrow. Yep. Looks like he's got great weight though. He, oh, if he didn't hit that, he would have sat on yeah, well. Dino's bowl. to draw for four and put him in the lead at if he does at the moment they're on wood Ari 
which he is. Look at that. Yep, that's another, definitely another counter there. And that's exactly the hole now, but... Might have to make every no, no, he's staying the forehand. He's got, he's he's got that gap there, he could use that wide bowl and come in. Sit and stay, get second, cut it down, keep that lead. But Alan's just being patient, knows he's behind. All comes down to his, his weight here, he's got a great line. Yeah, I think he's got the weight to get there. He's going to just he's he's taking some. He's not even going to take any out. Oh, we're having a look. The fingers are out. Three. He might have cut one out. Three, mate. Yep. Three. He's take one out. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say Alan would be looking for that bowl now. He's going to play just a little bit narrow and sit that out. Make five. Yeah, he's playing the... Looks like he's playing the back end too. Hmm. He'll keep it wide. Could have possibly played either hand on that bowl, trying to sit that bowl out. No, he's just going to draw it neat, like he just did. Easy game for yep. isn't it? He's back to four. Back to four. Yep, it's four. New leader. Well, Adams gave him a scare. Did I give him one too many? Yeah, I think so. Give him one too many. 15, 14. You're having trouble counting again, are you? No, I've got, um, um, what's the, the, royal, the royalty that got the fingers wrong? <laughs> <laughs> i got too many fingers on one hand. Oh, pain is decided to get out of the shade. <laughs> Man, eh? uh, we got it. Um, that Alan's in front. No, I just asked Joey. I don't know. You, well, Joe can't tell me because he's got shoes on. So. <laughs> <laughs> fifteen or eleven? Yeah, it must be fifteen or. Oh, no, Hawley's still missing. It must be fifteen, fourteen. They haven't put Hawley shot up. Oh. Yeah, we're about to get confirmation. I don't want What's Steve done? No, he's just gone behind the head and one narrow. Dean's holding shot. Mary Ann's first, looks on a nice line again. Just a little bit tight, a little bit heavy. Joe. Up to the leads and the seconds and the thirds to break the deadlock and try and keep the other team to just one. No one wants to get too oh. far ahead. So he's got shot out of that. Hit this in. So and high fives all around. a bit heavy again and high. How good's your memory, Joe? Well, 
farmers, a bit of a, a bit of movement going on. Yeah, it's all those a few couple of games start and finish already. Wasn't Just far off his memory. Wayne's first bowl on the backhand draw. Looks quite good. Is he going to get inside of Joey's bowl here? No, he's just going to sit out wide of it. Great weight. Yeah. Just a two bowl correction. He's just outside. So when you put that okay. in, it takes a screen away. When you, when I put this Hello, there's some XL training going on again in the background. Yeah, Payne's decided to come from the shade into the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great... Oh, no, he's gone through. I just pushed it a little bit too far. Once again, great well, that, great track. Just the extra weight and push it running through. Well, we're at 11 o'clock and the, it's very sunny and the green is drying out, so it'll be speeding up, so... As you, as you can see, there's no short bowls. Everyone's going no. past. Wayne's second bowl, is he corrected? Yeah, yeah, a touch of the jack. Yeah, a little touch of there. Just a little bit light on, got the inside of the jack, not the... Didn't get it in the, the middle. Okay. Come on, CJ. Make a correction. I was thinking about it. Okay, he's ready. I'll take a metre off. Yep. It looks good to there. It's a great shot. Oh, he's done it. Great ball. Oh, he gets a shot for that. He'll be happy with that. Great correction. Put some pressure back on Al now. The No, my watch is happy with the amount of steps I've taken. It's fixing up broken cameras. Adele. <laughs> 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 oh, he looks like he's yeah, got he's a, bit of a, a bit of weight. Bit of swing going on there. Yeah, forehand weighted shot. You got them all out. He did that to us up at Rainbow Beach. He took them all out. Open draw now for Maverick. What's he got? Um, got a metre to draw in? I'd say, yeah, it's got a metre. Alan's got his bowl ready for him. Draw weight. Okay, see the line, feel the weight. Bit of traffic now. <laughs> Steady stream. We're going to go back to the long shot. Yeah, it's got the nice track here. Ball starting to slow down nicely. Stop, nope. stop. It's going through a fraction. Not uh, Not far away. He'd rather be there uh, than short. <laughs> yeah, hard to correct that. Played it so well. What's Alan thinking about? Well, he's thinking about what hand to draw it on, where they <laughs> well, he's got a beat. He's got backhand, but is he going to play weight again? No, he hasn't got a savage uh, okay. swing of the arm this time. Playing an over draw, no easy draw. Just not going to turn for him. It's hanging out. Looks like a bit of a breeze has come across now. Mm, look at that. Picked up. Ten knots, maybe. Maybe he's trying to correct in his last. He swapped hands, hasn't he? No, it's so hard to correct in, in these conditions. Well, it's perfect conditions. Oh, no, he's still playing the back end. He made the correction here. Looks like starting to slow down. Is he going to turn in? Wind's, no, wind's, wind's just holding it him. out. 
That's close enough, though. No, no, no. Well, Dean's got the map, so they've won the tie break. No fingers. I'd say that have to be one Dean Bob and win second. Mm. Just the one yep. last in. Still anyone's game on this, you think? I apologise for not updating the ends. I'm going to put 16 up there. So we know that's the last in. And the toucher to begin with. Great yeah, bowl, Dean. told the camera to zoom in and it's not stopping. Steve going behind me first. You're one behind, you're better off being behind so give everyone an opportunity to trial the jack and make a return of the turn the head round. Second bowl looks close again. Oh, and he is. Brilliant. Absolutely touch great shot for Dean. And a shot. And sat just behind the jack too. <laughs> hey, what a big finish when you, you've just got ahead and your lead goes and puts two on just like that. Yeah. Takes, one a lot, on. takes a little bit of pressure off the shoulders, doesn't it? One on, one behind. And then Steve Cornish goes and does that. But as well, I guess if he's around the back... He's behind, it's got to be... If he, anything can happen now. If, it, if they can load up the back... And he's got the tee covered. Yeah. They're not going to be playing around with it. They're going to, they need shots, so... Bring that back T one back into view. Mary Ann's gone. She's gone behind as well. And Alan's happy to have the two next to the jack. Let's just do some cover. Yep, got two, breaking up the two back bowls. Time to just cover all, all scenarios. Well, he only needs to get two shots to win. But Alan's in the preferred, pos preferred position with two on and one in front on the yep. scorecard. No, they're going chasing. Called Mary Ann on a forehand split between the jack and her last bowl. Yep, we got two, we don't need any more in the head. Yep, just get around the place and just cover holes. This is where the experience of these two skips are going to come to play. Definitely. Or just draw one. Just draw another one, just, just short of jack high. Okay. Al might not be happy, it gives him an opportunity to use that bowl. Okay, Jay, you put one on, tie the game. Good. Getting better. So you're going to be high again. Happy the jack goes to where Al's calling it. He's going to be sitting too there. And where he's got his foot now, that's where he wants that bowl, so the trail, take the trail out of that part of the scenario. Yeah, Wayne's gone into Mary Ann's bowl. No, that just makes it. Uh, probably puts his bowl out there though. Covers those two bowls there now. Finished up all right. Not what he wanted, but it's, it's going to work out okay. Come on, Greeny, get out of the way of the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's going on here. <laughs> well, you got any one down now? 
Shot by there by Chris, only one. CJ, shot. Gives Maverick something there to work out. Just sit Mary Ann's bowl through now for the second shot. So, wants him around the back. Give me, give me the T option, Wayne. Oh, if you're playing Skippy, you're not going to be short at that, are you? Oh, Wayne, where are you going? Oh, he's going swimming. Okay, mm. he's calling him up. You can take all the time you want. Last in. Yeah. Talk it over. Get your head right. Where can they get two shots? Well, if he sits Mary Ann's bowl through and stays here just over the draw, he's got second shot, that gives him two. With Maverick with two bowls to play. On the backhand, just under the jack, if you get hold of the jack, I mean, the bowl goes back. Dean's got one there. It's sort of... You can't die trying anyway. You might as well have a go with something at this stage of the game. <laughs> Chris is scratching his head. Oh, why does it come down to me? It's, it looks like it's nearly on the forehand, this shot. If he sort of plays the forehand under... Yeah. Sort of sits the... Uses Joey's bowl. He can use Joey's bowl onto Mary Ann's. He has to change the head, hasn't yes, he? Yes, definitely got to move Mary Ann's bowl out move somehow. something. I mean, if he gets part of the jack and it slices down the line, Joey's got two bowls back there as well, near Wayne's, but it opens it up with only one bowl out there to Maverick to move. Mm -hmm. So he's got to play forehand with a good yard of weight. So the jack is behind the, where, where Maverick's front foot was, so they're the two. Yes, the, the white and black has got a bowl. Chris, they've figured it all out. Not He's uh, wiping his sweaty palms. <laughs> Try and get it good. Sounded good on paper. Let's just see if we can do it practically now. He has been showing a lot of improvement through the game. Here we go. He's playing a little bit more than a yard weight. He's been playing ditch weight. Yeah, let's just see if we can get... He's close. What's he got, the jack? Oh, he's oh, gone. He's gone. It's all right. Yeah. That's, he's built it. He's only... He's even the game up because yeah, they've, they've got the T. They've got the T, so they're holding one. <laughs> it's all happening here. Well done. Um, we'll give uh, Chris shot of the day for that. And a toucher as well. Give him both. Oh, toucher, toucher, OK. Shot of the day, CJ. We need to put a new one there, champagne bowls. Champagne bowls. <laughs> that champagne bowls. Have the, have, oh, the corks pop, have the corks popping on the head, on the screen? Kiwi and breezy at it. Drayton. Champagne bowls. Uh, now Al, you have to be playing an open forehand draw to the jack. So the game is all tied up at the moment. Yep. Um, he's on a good track. I don't know if he's going to have the weight. Oh, yeah. He's right. got the weight. He's got the weight. He's still a... He's, he's down. He's still one down. Oh, Maverick's, got a, Maverick's got a draw. They're looking at the fingers again. Yeah, Chris okay. likes it. We'll right now, you mustn't be sure because Maverick's having a look now. So yeah, We'll give a side view if we can and see what's going on, can we? Yeah, this camera's... Well, we well now around? Wayne's having a look at his fingers. Is there anyone else who wants to go down and have a look? <laughs> well, this, you need to get the, a drone up there, mate. With the um... This is what we're seeing live from our position, almost that same angle, and it looks like Maverick's got the shot, Adam Hall. Well, the way they, the three of them went around, no one, no one decided to tell anyone. Okay. Huh? So putting the jack in the ditch at this stage it might be a clever move but yep. I don't know if he's game enough to do that because he needs his he needs his, he needs bowl, his bowl to stay, stay there stay on the green well, soon find out it's on its way it's in a good line 
It's actually on the roof. Oh, has he got it? Oh, he's just gone through. Stay. Oh, that's made it. Stay, but Joe. Stay, Dobby. Stayed on Stay. too, so that yep. gives him another option. Right underneath Wayne Masters it is. So right behind Wayne Masters it's is... It's about to lay an egg. Yell's yeah, last chance. L to win the game. Keeping Ford on the mat. He wouldn't be unhappy with a draw. Prefer, being, he'd prefer the win. Being top of the table. He's going to go for it. No, he's just, well, he's just <coughs> drawing. Oh, watch this. Watch this. <coughs> and that's a great ball there. Oh. Kurt falls over. All right, he's just got one choice now. Yeah. Trial the Charlie Jacks back to where Wayne's standing for free. And win the game. Yep. It's not even worth worrying about looking about it. Wayne's saying one down. One down. Uh, yep, yeah, move the jack. He wasn't far off of his first one, just to make that slight correction. Maverick, you're the last person to bowl a ball on this rink. We can do that, Richard Family Owner. You can't. Well, he's making sure he's not going to be short. Sure. Yeah, looks like he's high to me. Definitely oh, wide. Oh, no. He's pushed it wide. Let's put a measure on it and see going through fingers. We're shaking hands. Al gets one with his last bowl. Well, I think put a tape on it now. Well, I think they've called it. No, tape's coming out. Oh, it's only okay. taking 16 inches to get it out of the bag. Let's have a close look. I guess they're deciding if it's one or two, aren't they? In this situation, you'd be putting a tape on it straight away. Wayne Masters is helping let us have a look. Well, that's one. Well, that's easy. That's it. Just the one. That's all you needed, that's all we have to measure. Wow. Well, it was almost an upset. But if that's the way Hawley's game's been going this week, that's four losses for him. And they played brilliant balls. Thank you once again, Wayne. Thank you, Kane. Thank you very much. We've got lunch now. I'll yeah. make sure you get lunch. No, I've got a bail. I've got to go. Oh, OK. Off to a 50th birthday party, so... OK, you're a busy man. Well, that was game four. We'll be back at uh, 12.30 for game five. And the weather's holding, and everything looks good. So... Thank you very much for watching the $20,000 Classic at Club Marucci. That was game four. Um, thanks for watching. My name's Wayne Natty. You've been also listening to Brian Perrin. So please give us a thumbs up and share the link. Um, the YouTube, so you can watch it at home on the big screen later on. Bowls Promo TV. And this broadcast has been brought to you by Bowls Primo Gear. Thank you very much.